cool for now. Current temperatures, as you're getting the kids ready for the school bus this morning, Troy, you're at 50. Arcanum, good morning, at 48 degrees. 46 in Wapak and Dayton, you're at 51 now. I-75, Greenville, Winchester, Wapak, Urbana, all in the mid to upper 40s. Richmond, Indiana at 48 degrees. The rest of us in the low 50s. Again, we'll drop into the upper 40s. And we're dry. High pressure's in control. Widen things out. There's not a drop of rain in this forecast for the next few days. The only moisture we have right here, the cloud cover. Moving across St. Louis, trying to push into Evansville, Indiana. High pressure's in control again. But the placement of that high is everything. You hear me say it over and over again. The air around this high spins clockwise. So as that high moves eastward, our winds shift more to the east. And you'll notice going into Wednesday, as that high continues its track east, we'll get more of a south wind. So our temperatures will start to increase once again. So this morning, 40s and 50s, finding ourselves into the 70s, nearing 80 degrees, if that a few clouds here and there tomorrow afternoon doing the same thing, working our way back up into the low 80s, pushing into the mid 80s for some of us. And you'll notice the humidity creeping up just a hair. So we have some moisture ahead of our next cold front, but remaining dry until until Friday, a 60 percent shot of rain. Even then, it's very few and far between. Our rain chances amount to about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch if we're lucky. That's not enough to clear out the drought that's going to be in play for many of us as we get the next drought monitor that comes out Thursday. So with that being said, the Climate Prediction Center says we have below normal precipitation chances over the next eight to 14 days. Again, that's not going to help this, the abnormally dry conditions and the moderate drought that's still in place for Springfield and Xenia likely to tap into some of the severe drought that's south of Columbus. And we now have Salina in a moderate drought. This is the last drought monitor that came out last Thursday. Again, we'll have an update for you this Thursday, and we'll likely see that moderate drought spread across southwest Ohio. Here's your next seven days. We talked about that rain chance being pretty limited. Friday's pretty much the only day. You notice calm winds, clear skies, all that heat escapes back into the atmosphere. The only moisture we are holding on to will be a few clouds out there today. High pressures in control yet again, but the placement of that high is everything. As it sits to our north, the air around it spins clockwise, so it pumps in more of an east wind today. And that wind is going to switch more to the south over the next 24 hours. So that summer-like weather we're talking about returns. Wednesday and Thursday, but for a short period of time, then a second cold front's going to sweep through us and we get even cooler, or I could say colder. Some of us could wind up into the upper 30s just in time for the weekend. We'll talk about it here in a moment. 40s and 50s this morning, 70s, low 80s this afternoon, a few clouds. Still dry, rolling into your Wednesday, but you do notice the moisture creeping back up on us in the form of humidity until we get that cold front getting closer. Friday and into Saturday will increase that chance of rain. A 60% shot lingering into Saturday with a 20% shot then dying back as we move into Sunday. So Sunday will likely be dry, but Friday through Saturday, picking up a quarter to a half an inch of rain. That's not going to help us at all all when it comes down to the abnormally dry conditions. So we're highlighted in tan here. We're going to be below normal for rainfall amounts, not just over the next week's time, but possibly even two weeks time. So we'll likely see this moderate drought expand across southwest Ohio with the latest drought monitor coming up this next Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, I should say. Here's your Storm Center seven day forecast over the next seven days. Again, Friday's our only chance of rain takes us from the 80s, mid 80s, which is pretty close to normal. Well below normal Sunday morning, we could wake up into the 30s in the rural areas again with highs only in the upper 60s. We have weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Hey there, Jake. Hey. Stepping outside this morning, it is crisp and it feels good compared to last week at this time. We were at 45 in Urbana and Greenville. Good morning to you in Wapakoneta at 46, 52 in Springfield. Guaranteed, or Springboro rather, you will drop down into the upper 40s as well. And we plan on being cool, not just in the morning, but throughout the afternoon and for an extended period of time. 
So the Climate Prediction Center has us highlighted in blue. So we have an above normal probability of being below normal for the next 8 to 14 days. Now we will bump up above normal by a few degrees for a short time, Wednesday and Thursday ahead of the cold front. But the next cold front means business. It doesn't really do us any justice with rain, but it takes us down about 10 to 15 degrees below normal just in time for your weekend. We have weather and traffic 5 in Urbana and in Greenville. 49 in Salina, Dayton at 50. You will drop down a few degrees yet before the sun decides to come up over the horizon. I guarantee it. And while we are cool, it's all because of the clear skies and the calm winds out of the north, what we call radiational cooling. So we widen things out all across the Midwest. The only bit of moisture we have, there it is, cloud cover, going through St. Louis, trying to move into southwest Indiana because of high pressure. So that high sits up to our north, and the placement of that high is everything. And we've talked about this before, but as it moves eastward, it switches our winds. So we notice the winds out of the north and east turn to the east, more to the south here over the next 24 hours, cranking up the moisture a bit in the form of cloud cover and humidity within the next 24 hours. So 40s and 50s this morning, trying to get to 80 this afternoon, will rebound quickly. By tomorrow, we'll hit highs in the mid-80s. And again, it's a bit muggy ahead of our next cold front, which will reinforce the cooler air, but also increase our chance for rain. By Friday, a 60% shot. So you're telling me there's a chance. It's not going to amount to much. About a quarter to a half an inch of rain across the valley. It's not going to do us any justice when it comes down to the dry conditions. We plan on being below normal when it comes down to precipitation chances over the next two weeks' time. That's why we're starting to tap into almost this orangish brown color moving into western Indiana. We'll see the drought, the moderate drought, likely expand because last week we hardly picked up any rain and the drought monitor comes out this Thursday. We'll have another update next Thursday and we'll see this expand as well if our rain chances are held back to only a quarter of an inch. So we have a moderate drought in Salina, back into Xenia, in Springfield. We'd love to play that catch-up game, but again, our real only chance of rain is Friday with about a half an inch at most. If we're lucky, an inch of rain. But a lot of us stand on the lower end of that. The cold front, though, living up to its name when it comes to the cooler air. This could be the coolest of the season thus far. Meteorological fall started September 1st, and it definitely feels like it this weekend with temperatures in the 30s and 40s Sunday morning. On this morning, so we get what's called radiational cooling. All the heat that settled in yesterday, lack thereof, settled in and then escaped back up into the atmosphere. So that big blue H moves and as it pushes eastward, the air around it spins clockwise and pulls in more of a southerly wind as we move into tomorrow. So that changes everything up on us. We warm it back up before this morning. We're in the 40s and 50s. We'll hit a high around 80. We'll draw in some moisture only in the form of cloud cover over the next two days time as our temperatures begin to increase ahead of our next cold front, which brings us to our next chance of rain. About a 60% shot on Friday lingering into Saturday with a 20% shot of rain. We're watching it closely because we need every drop of this rain to not only kind of saturate the grounds a little bit, but help the farmers out, help us out so we don't have to water our grass and fork out the extra dollar. And we're only talking a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain across the Miami Valley. We'd like to say close to an inch, but that's very isolated. It's a possibility, but not all of us will get in on that action. We will stay below normal when it comes down to rain chances, not just over the next few days, but really over the next 8 to 14, according to the Climate Prediction Center, which isn't going to do us any justice with the drought. We still have a moderate drought in Springfield, Xenia, and now Salina as of the last drought monitor. The next drought monitor comes out this Thursday and we'll likely see that moderate drought expand simply because we haven't really added any rain to the amounts here. And again, Friday being our next opportunity, but even then it's very isolated to scattered as it takes our temperatures down to more of a fall level, only topping out around 70 this upcoming weekend. We have weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Jake, what's going on? Our Bentley was just checking on some of our highways, state routes, and give you a live look at state route four here in the Riverside area. This case